Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Lisey's Story Episode 3, Under the Yum Yum Tree. Bool. So I reviewed the first two episodes of this show on my channel last week. If you saw those, you know that I'm a huge King fan, even though I wasn't a terribly big fan of this particular novel. And I was also a little bit mixed on the first two episodes of this adaptation. I was into it enough to watch the third, and I'll say this, I'm still not loving it, but I did dig this episode a little bit more. In the first two, we were introduced to a little bit of Clive Owen's character, Scott Langdon's childhood. It did not look great. Now here, while he's on his honeymoon with Lisey, we get a much deeper look. They're also the only two guests checked in at this like wintry inn, so maybe a not so subtle reference to The Shining. But I like the way the scene played out. He and Julianne Moore's Lisey are kind of hanging out under this willow tree, more on that later. And he's essentially telling her the story of his traumatic childhood. Now this could have been a monster exposition dump if it had played out a little bit differently, with Scott telling his story directly to Lisey, or us hearing him tell it juxtaposed with footage of it happening. But I like the way they did it. We see Scott about to tell her, then we get a flashback that shows us what happened, and then we cut back to them under the tree and she's just reacting to the story that he told her, which we didn't hear him say. I liked that restraint, I thought it worked beautifully. Even if in the flashbacks his father looked like Jack Sparrow. I'll also say the kid that got to play young Scott really looks like a young Clive Owen. I don't need that, but the kid's performance was good, so it's a nice bonus. And while I took issue with Owen's American accent in the last couple episodes, his performance in this particular scene was so good, I didn't even notice he crushed it. In fact, I enjoyed most of the performances in this episode. Julianne Moore didn't really have any standout moments for me this time around, but she's reliable as always. Jennifer Jason Lee had one scene that I really, really liked. And Joan Allen in particular continues to impress me with how much pain and fear she can convey with next to no dialogue and just body language, facial expressions, and vocalizing. The one performance that's still really not working for me is Dane DeHaan, and again, I like the guy, but the way he's playing the character is just so one note and dull to me. He's a little creepy, he does nefarious things in this episode, but I just don't find him menacing enough as the main villain. Still, much like the first two, I thought this episode was beautifully shot, particularly the scenes of Scott and Lisey under the yum yum tree. That's the name of the movie! It sure is, sir! It's just so beautiful with the fronds of the trees surrounding them, giving them this quiet privacy, really liked it. But, much like the first two episodes, again, I found the dialogue really repetitive in here. It's just really distracting to me. And I would like to spend more time in Buya Moon because it's just so ominously pretty. I understand they want to dole that out in small handfuls. I get it. I just want more. Three episodes in, and I'm still certainly not over the Buya Moon about this show, but I'm intrigued enough to give it another episode, which I'm pretty sure will put us halfway through the series. So those are my thoughts on episode three of Lisey's story, Under the Yum Yum Tree. Now I want to know, have you guys seen this episode? What did you think about it? What's your favorite episode so far out of the three that we've seen? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. Helps the video get out to more people, helps the channel grow. I appreciate that very much. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.